yo what, what is going on you weed whack and weave out today playing some games with omastar uh little pup lock <laughs> so the way this deck works is you set up your omastar through the uh pokemon research lab uh search your deck for two false pokemon put them into play your turn ends that's fine so we get our two omas uh Omanite out and then <clears throat> evolve one of them to omastar which says if we have fewer pokemon in play than our opponent um their item locked so our opponent becomes item locked is the idea and then when they're item locked they can't play switch okay so then they can't play switch so then we boss up one of their pokemon on the bench usually like a dedene or a crobat or an eldegoss and if they don't have any of those on their bench then we put it on their bench with mawile actually eldegoss isn't great because they can attack with eldegoss so it's like dedene crobat stuff they can't attack with um and then we bring it up boss it up and then we use baby doll eyes which says that if any pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn so then their their, their active is trapped in the active can't retreat we can't use switch because we have almost star set up and then that's it and then our opponent decks out and the way our opponent always decks out first is because we play lily's pokey doll uh which we can retreat into constantly with recycle energy uh or an air balloon on our lily pup and then we retreat our lily pup into the pokey doll put the pokey doll under the deck put the lily pup back in the active and then baby doll eyes repeatedly until our opponent decks out which does happen eventually and that's it that's the deck let's get to some games all right, here we go. Unfortunately, we opened up Mawile in this first hand, which isn't great because we don't want to open Mawile. Um, so yeah, Mawile starts not great, but it's not that big of a deal to be honest. And we're gonna be able to get a Stellar Wish dude here out um, soon. Gonna go ahead and calm away the Omnites. Grab ourselves that Jirachi. Check, we have three Omnite in the deck. We have the Omastar in the deck. We have another Mawile in the deck. Let's check uh, four pups, four Jirachis, Mewtwo's here, some dolls. Only one surprise box, three boss, three research lab, plenty of draw supports, probably two research actually. Um, two exile are in here as well. Okay, cool. And we do use the exile to like make our bench <clears throat> smaller. How we use the exile. So we got the turn one research lab, which I don't see a reason not to go for it. So let's go for this research lab right off the rip. Um, I don't really see a reason to play anything else. Get the double Omanyte out. We can even get triple Omanyte out at some point and just be like, all right, just slowly let our opponent take knockouts and we'll eventually go into the Omastar. We don't have to like evolve Omastar immediately. We can kind of wait. Um, so it kind of depends on the situation, to be honest, but we'll see. And we can quick ball for our Lily Pup. We don't really want to put Lily Pup out too aggressively. The problem with putting out Lily Pup too aggressively is then our opponent starts to knock them out. And we don't like that. We don't like it when our Lily Pup gets knocked out. So <laughs> we actually don't want that to happen too aggressively. We want to avoid that. <clears throat> Jirachi is actually also another Pokemon we can trap in the active once they are item locked because they just kind of can't, uh, I can't do anything about it. What the Jirachi, like they can sell a wish over and over again, but they can't find cards that would actually make a difference. That's another card. It looks like we are up against Tempo Zard here. Yeah, there, there's the Reshi Zard so up against the Tempo. Um, our setup is not too good yet. We're kind of getting there. Um, our setup is not too good yet. We need to get some more stuff cooking. Uh, we need to find out other Maw Wiles, what we really need to do, and get some more basics into play. We're going to have to give up some more prize cards here. We're going to have to give, up our, give our opponent a decent amount of prize cards here before we try and go for the lock. <clears throat> then we'll go for the lock. Probably want to go for the lock next turn, to be honest, uh, when they knock out the Maw Wiles to draw two prize cards. Uh, Mewtwo is another thing that we can easily trap in the active, so our opponent's putting a bunch of stuff in play that we can definitely take advantage of. And if they don't have... They might not have... Well, they're digging here. There's a Dedene. So there's the Dedene. That's that's our, our prime target most of the time. They've benched quite a few Pokemon now. So we are in, I mean, just where we want to be. This is exactly where we want to be. Going to set up the Mawile, evolve to the Omastar. Um, might grab another Jirachi here, but then they get access to items. So that's what I'm kind of debating here. It's like, I don't really want to give them access to items, but also we need to make sure we set up. Uh, we're not set up quite yet. <clears throat> so we'll probably give them access to the items here. Uh, quick ball away. Our cycle. Grab ourselves... Jirachi. Yeah, we do need we do need a little bit more, don't we? So I do want to switch. Because if I get research or Marnie, I want to have this in if I get research, I don't want to have to discard it. There's a Marnie. Okay, so we're gonna go with the Marnie. I'll bench the Lillipup, attach to the Lillipup, play the Marnie. And we're looking for boss. There's the boss. We have the exile as well. But we can't do both at once. So we might have to go exile, then boss next turn. Um, I could evolve the other Omastar. I don't see a reason not to. So let's go ahead and evolve the other Omastar here. And then just go ahead and pass over to my opponent. They're not they're not item locked right now. But they will be as soon as we exile. But if we exile, we don't have boss. Maybe I should have held this to get another Lillipop into play. And then gone exile away Mawile. Um, that might have been the better way to go about it, actually. Maybe I should have held this Omastar. 
I think I should have actually held this Omen Star. I think I should have held that Omen Star. <clears throat> I think it was a mistake to have gotten rid of that Omen, or to, bet, to put that Omen Star in play. Could have held this Omen Star. If they like Kramer and snipe this or get boss flare strike, then we have to go to the other Omen Star. But until that happens, we don't really have to do that. So I shouldn't play like that has to be the play until it has to be the play, you know? And there comes a flare strike. They're not item locked once again. Um, if we top deck scoop up net, they would be item locked. So they want to send this up because if we top deck, we can scoop up net and almost our boss. We did not get a scoop up net. Um, so I could go with exile. I could just go with research here. I'm leaning towards <clears throat> research uh, and then retreat to Mawile. Yeah, let's go with that. Research, just draw cards. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't really care about disrupting my opponents. Uh, research lab. Put that into play. Uh, we need some more stuff, though. Quick ball away. Research lab. <clears throat> Grab myself. And I could just go with... All while here. No, 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 not all while. I could go with Mewtwo, put a boss on top. The problem with that is then if they boss KO my Lillipup, I can't really do it. But we could do that. Mewtwo. Boss on top. And then we can go retreat to the Mawile. Attach back. Uh, yeah, we attach back down. And pass over to my opponent. If they get the knockout on the Mawile, then we have game basically set up next turn. If we top deck the boss, we'll item lock them. And then we will also trap the Dedenne, infinitely loop Poke Doll, and win the game. Also, we are up against. Uh, what are we up against here? We're up against. Tempozard, which doesn't really play any, um, they only have the Outrage. That's not good. We wanted them to KO our, our Mawile here. So that's not great. Uh, so go ahead and pass, I think. I could have, I could have scooped at one of these things, but that's not enough. We need them to KO the Mawile, which hopefully they just do with Flare Strike. All right, there we go. Flare Strike, KO Mawile. Now we've got them. Um, and now they will see the full effect of our deck here. So we're going to send up the Lily Pup. <clears throat> I'm going to boss up the Dedenne. I'm going to scoop up net our Mewtwo here. And then we're going to use the Baby Doll Eyes. Our opponent is item locked. They can't retreat their active. Uh, and that's game. That's it. It's over. It's done. They're cooked. That's it. <laughs> the game is over. Our opponent will deck out in 27 turns and there's nothing they can do about it unless they're playing something weird and wacky in their uh uh in their tempos are deck but i doubt it <clears throat> got the backup of another quick ball so we can get another lily pup even if they play like i don't know one bird keeper uh we can still get to another lily pup i guess we don't have a boss to work with so i could if i ever top like a scoop now i can put a boss on top um I can put a boss on top and then scoop up net to Mewtwo, get that ready to go for a follow-up Lillipup. Um, top deck Exile, Eyes. We could also go like bench Mewtwo, boss on top, Exile the Mewtwo. We can do that as well, but I don't really want to do that. It doesn't seem necessary yet. There's the net. So to set up for like, if we wanted to, I don't think I need to. I don't think Tempozard plays a random, what's it called? Um, I don't think they got it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think we have to play around that at all. I'm going to retreat. Catch. Put the dolls under. I'm just going to show my opponent that I don't deck out first, which is maybe what they saw here is that, oh, my opponent decks out first. It's going to like be like, all right, now you see it's impossible for me to deck out first. You can concede, you know, knowing you'll lose uh, for sure. Because because I've won games like that where like the control player or stall player thinks they get me. And then I'm like, well, they deck out first. So if I just stay here, I win. And then sometimes they don't have a condition where they can actually prevent them from decking out. But we do. Did I press done or baby doll eyes there? I actually don't remember. I hope I did the baby doll eyes because otherwise they're going to get out of this situation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. Um, <clears throat> all right, my turn. Baby doll eyes. You guys, like, hold on a second. Wait a second. Uh, maybe they play Marnie, but I don't think that's not even going to save them. That'll save them like, you know, 20 turns, 30 turns. 30 more turns of baby doll eyes, but that's all that's going to get them. Yeah, we have the doll. So that's the infinite loop. We have Poke doll to constantly go retreat. Dolls under, retreat, dolls under, repeat. And there's the victory. And you know, guys, I'm not going to lie. I plan to maybe play like two games with this deck, but I think you guys get how it works. Um, so if you're looking to ruin someone's day, that's how you do it. 
best of luck with it on the ladder and i'll see you tomorrow